Hello, everybody. So today is going to be super simple, but it's one thing that I'm really, really excited about. So there's this new trend for pops of color, right? In the past, I would say, you know, use your pop of color on your cheekbones. Maybe your lips are your pop of color. But this one is so simple that anybody can do it, and it's really, really pretty. So we're going to do our pop of color on our eyes, and it's a little different than what we've done in the past. So I am going to go ahead and start out with neutrals. Um, yes, we're going to add a pop of color. We're just not there yet. So I'm starting out with neutrals. This is Nimble. It's one of my favorite transition colors. So I'm going to go ahead, get that on in the transition area of both eyes. All right. And you can do these with any colors. If you're wearing, um, I'm wearing browns today, so I'm kind of sticking to my neutrals and my browns. But if you're wearing blacks or grays, you know, do kind of your stick with those colors and really light neutral colors for most of your eye. And then I'm going to show you where to add that pop of color. I'm getting really weird lighting today because of the sun is coming in my window just at the wrong angle. All right, so I got that on as my transition color. And like I said, we're gonna start out by staying neutral and then we add our pop of color. So I am going to grab, which one is this? This one is oh, um, Antsy, another one of my favorites. Very nice neutral again. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the lid. All right, so we've got our, I've got my transition color on, a really nice light neutral, kind of a little bit of a shimmer on the lid, and now we're gonna add our pop of color. So I am gonna pull out, you guys, these are magnetic, and for some reason I cannot get it, there we go. I can't get them to stick back in my palette, they were trying to stick on the side. So I am going to be adding a pop of color, and I am going to use a pink. So I pulled out Agile, really pretty pink. It has just a bit of a tiny, like a tiny bit of a shimmer to it. It's not completely a matte. Um, and this is where we're gonna add it. Just a second. I wanna make sure I got all the color off this from last time. So I am grabbing my crease brush just because it's perfect uh, size for this, a perfect shape, I should say. And I'm gonna get a decent amount of this on here, a little tap so that I don't end up with a lot of fallout. And we're gonna start in this corner. We're gonna do a little circle of it in the corner. See, we're going not more than a little bit over into the eye itself, and then we're taking it down just under on that corner too, okay? Where is my blending brush? So right now, it kind of looks like I have a black eye, but we're not gonna, it's not gonna stay that way. Um, we're gonna blend this out a little bit, but the point is, that we're making here is that you add your pop of color on the inside corner. And you can play with it, decide what colors you like. Um, I wanted to go with pink today because I feel like pinks and browns go really well together. Um, so I am, I, so I pulled out this pink, but I kind of am thinking, I kind of want to lighten that color up a little bit. So I'm going to pull a little bit of a lighter color in here with it. So I have some of the darker color, some of the lighter color still on my hand. And we're pulling it through here. So my pop of color, I've got all neutrals, and then my pop of color is on the inside corner. So let's do the other eye. Like I said, you start out, just take your pop of color, do a little circle on the inside corner of your eye, and then you can pull it down a little bit below as well. There we go, see it's coming in here. And this is like the first time I've done this. I've watched a few people do it. So yes, don't be afraid if the first time you do it, you look and go, oh, looks like I've had a black eye. Thank you, honey, um, because that's part of the process. You have to learn how to do it and blend it out properly. Now I'm gonna go back in with that lighter pink to kind of give me a little bit more pop on the like, pink color. There we go, and blending it out. So I have my neutrals everywhere, but my pop of pink on the inside corner. All I need is lashes, and I'm good to go. Super simple trend, brings a pop, pop of color, especially if you're wearing your mask, you could still have that pop of color on your eye and really attract some attention, right? All right, everybody, I hope you're having a great week. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Maybe not the bye.